नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते शंभला दीदी नमस्ते ऑल वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम जी कैन स्टार्ट जी दीदी वी हैव वन शेयरिंग इन इंग्लिश टुडे एंड द हिंदी शेयरिंग विल स्टार्ट ओनली एट 6:30 एएम टुडे टू शेयरिंग्स इन हिंदी सो टुडे वी हैव दिनेश बालकृष्ण मिराज कार जी इज देयर विद अस नमस्ते दिनेश जी आई एम ऑडिबल टू यू यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल या Am I audible? Yeah, loud and clear. So I will briefly introduce you, and then you can place your sharing based on these indicators within twenty minutes. Okay, sir. So, yeah. So we have here with us uh, Dinesh Balakrishna Amiraj Karji. He is an assistant professor in the Satya Sahib Kore Institute of Engineering and Technology, uh, Varana Nagar District, Kolhapur. state maharashtra and he started his usv journey only from january 2023 so far he is not into any of the volunteering activities so i hope this may be his first uh, morning session with this brief introduction let me welcome dinesh balakrishna ji for his sharing in the morning session over to dinesh ji thank you thank you thank you sir गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल शर्मिला दीदी कुमार भैया सुनील भैया तारा प्रसन्न भैया आई विल स्टार्ट विथ माय इंट्रोडक्शन एज अ फैमिली वी आर थ्री सन टू अवर पेरेंट पेरेंट वाज वर्किंग इन शुगर इंडस्ट्री ही इज रिटायर्ड टेन इयर्स बैक माय मदर इज हाउस वाइफ आई एम द ओल्डर वन आई हैड कंप्लीटेड माय ग्रेजुएशन इन B Information Technology in the year 2003, and then I had joined few colleges initially, and then I had started my journey journey as a lecturer and assistant professor in Tata Sahib Kore Institute of Engineering Technology, Varanagar. My second brother has completed D Pharmacy. My third brother has completed B Electrical and M Tech Power System. Right now he is working as an assistant professor. in fisheries college ratnagiri uh, this is what is my family background uh, i got married in the year 2009 i am having two children one is bhargavi she is now right now in the fifth standard and son is in third standard shreya this is about my family background now coming back to the point where i had started my journey as a Uh, philosophical way or i may say i used to go to the uh, ramkrishna missions vekanand kendra in the uh, when i was in the 9th and standard in 97 99 around so i know the things related to the existence uh, then what our nature should be likewise so as a human being we should be the motto of vik ramkrishna mat is like atmano mokshartam jagat hitaye cha so that is what i realized that <coughs> the human being should go to reach as a moksh and jagat hitaye cha so we should do the things for the betterment of everybody so that is what i realized in the then uh, in the year 2009 uh, 2006 i had also started the course attending the course of art of living where i came to know that the existence of body the existence of mind are different things as well as uh, they had given certain questions what is your purpose why we live so it started the journey long back then in the year 2000 in uh, i had done the vipassana course also where i realized that our body uh, our body consists of all the things sensations and everything but you are not the body you are something different than that then i had done the advanced courses in art of living and all the things 
then in the month of january i came to know that through the email of aict that there is a course called as universal human values which is related to the harmony and everything so i done my first uhv course in the month of january that is from 9 january to 13 january where i had again introspected myself through the activities so what i realized is that those things which i had learned taught in other courses here we are doing it uh, practicing is very important over here so and by attending this uhv3 i came to know that it's like a tap going on so from morning 5:30 to or prior to that i really remember the first day on 28th march when we have started with this course that i was unable to sleep because we have to start with the course uh, that is what i feel and within these three months i had gone through the introspections as well as the exercises which are given which are very important that I, that is what i think and when it comes to the next part that is uh, this is what is the introduction and what i had done and when i had started with this uhv3 i came uh, practicing is very important so in day to day activities when we are dealing with the people we should find that they are like us uh, our nature should be the balanced one we should be in harmony and then and then only we can make others in a harmony when it comes to the nature we are part of the nature because the way we have the air trees and that is what is our existence we have made up of pancha mahabhuta we are part of it and we have to be in harmony and nature loves balance everywhere if something is going wrong it makes the balance it may take years it may take minutes seconds whatever it is so that is what is related to the nature existence we have to make our existence whether it may be by silence or by expression we can make our existence then regarding human conduct our nature should uh, be to make the balance it may be by human values by understanding the values and the innateness that we should have and regarding now i will move to the exercise one uh, that uh, we are observing or our imagination should be uh, the desire generally what happens is that we go by the desire or the feeling but when we go through this uhv3 we re- uh, i realized that uh, instead of saying we i realized that we should uh, go by the natural acceptance because natural acceptance is the one which makes you in a harmony then i came to know that whenever we are comfortable whenever we are making a decision depending on the feeling uh, depending on the Uh, natural acceptance then and then only we are becoming the happier and that will last forever that is what is a continuous thing then moving to the uh, whether the feelings that we have naturally accepted will lead to the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence only otherwise it will be just uh, opposition disharmony and struggle which will again lead to some discomfort and making a wrong decisions in our life as well as to the human being or as a humanity so every moment we should feel we should have the feeling of relationship happiness coexistence and completeness uh, then and then only will be in a state of continuous happiness and the situations may come in our life where we are uh, we have to think so when we read the books like mahabharat ramayan also we came to know that there are people who are good who are bad who are but we have to be always on the good side so that is what uh, i feel that every moment we should be listen to the our uh, instructions whatever we are giving they should be on the basis of natural acceptance only now moving to the exercise 2 that is observing the self the body the interaction between the self and the body by the self uh, generally we go by uh, imagination and the 
imaginations as well as the prejudiced mind i will say imagination means what prejudiced mind what he has done what he will do and according to that we act and we have to be in a harmony by listening to the that means i am giving the instruction to the body body is not making any instru- body is not giving it is just giving me the sensation and these are the two distinct things that is what i am observing and i am the one who is making the decision that is also i am getting so at the end we should say that we need to observe our reaction as well as the responses which will lead to the coexistence in the space and body is also coexisting in the space itself because we are so this is what is the sharing from my side yeah uh, dinesh ji nice so if you can spend some uh, time and uh, you can throw some light upon your commitment part and uh, what are the changes in your living there is indicators 4 and 5 changes in your living with this understanding in the past four months would have been nice so indicators 4 and 5 if you can just focus upon nice. uh, yes sir okay. uh now in day to day life what i am observing is that uh, when my child is making any mistake i used to scold them that why you are doing this you have to be uh, you have to do the things which will be beneficial uh, right now it's not the time to watch the tv right now you should uh, do the exercise or do the study part so that uh, i am neg- now, right now i am neglecting i am taking according to their way and it is uh, so by that way what is happening is that my anger from student is getting my children is getting lowered my mother uh, she is not uh, means his hearing pro- problem is there so what i know uh, what i was doing is that i was uh, uh, shouting at her also sometimes so that is also lowered in my family and when i am interacting with the other people uh, when they are saying something uh, i am observing them with a silent mind and whatever they are saying i am taking it positively so that is what is the change that i am observing in myself and for commitment uh, in day to day life what is observing is that uh, when we are in uh, discussing discussing these things it gives a realization that we have to be in a harmony so uh, i am not up to the mark for the commitment uh, i may say that 30 40% only i am going for the commitment hey dinesh so uh, nice so regarding commitment what we mean is your participation in the larger order uh, you can participate in this online workshops which are happening there are yes, sir. several activities which we can do uh, with our uh, time like uh, if you spend half an hour one hour a day then also we can do something over here there are many projects and activities happening around um, in this uhp realm so this also we can if you are interested in some other project like uh, uh, translating into the regional language for example or some other you can participate in that so yes sir are, definitely yeah this uh, transcription is there video editing is there there are many other projects which are uh, ongoing so you can join the team this is what uh, we mean by commitment part in your institution do you have this usp program Uh, right now we don't have this program in our institution okay so you can propose that also 
in the yes. SIP as well as uh, USP two also can be proposed. Yes, sir. Definitely, I will yeah. go for this. Yeah. Nice, yeah. very uh, crisp and honest sharing by Dinesh ji. So there are a couple of uh, hands raised. We will go to the questions of our uh, co explorers. Devi Prasad Mishra ji, Namaste. Over to you for the question. Devi Prasad Mishra ji, mic is passed to you. Uh, namaste Sunil Bhaiya, Namaste Saramaladid, Namaste Tara Prasanna Bhaiya, Namaste all my clo explorers and Namaste to Dinesh Ji. Dinesh Ji? Haan, sir. Yes, I have a small clarification, not a question, that uh, you told that we should live by, uh, we feel our existence either by expression or silence. So I could not follow that can you give some light on that uh, sir what i mean to say is that sometimes silence is the biggest answer and sometimes we need to express it because uh, the other person we don't it means it's the situation which gives us how to react or respond the rather that is what i feel by silence and expression that we are because our existence has to be felt sometimes by silence and sometimes by expression. Mm -hmm. Is it so clear, that, sir? Uh, how it is related to our existence? Existence means we living, we are living, and uh, it is our kind of uh, the option we take that uh, whether we can we are we decide to uh, express it or we do not want to express it by. Yes, sir, and we can convey the, what we want. So that way, I, I was not uh, convinced. So can you still try for that? Uh, sir, right now, if I see the chair, the chair is there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. By mm -hmm. existence means it is there. We can, uh, If the light is off, it is not there. We cannot observe. But how we can feel it when we touch it? But when light is there, we can get it through the uh, our sensation of eyes so that way whenever we uh, want to express the thing uh, depend it depends on the situation whether we need to express or we need to be silent so sometimes silence is a bigger so answer that is what i feel thank you uh, devi prasan ji we move on to the question of jagdish bhaiya namaste jagdish ji namaste bhaiya namaste dinesh ji uh, namaste uh, sir bhaiya very crisp uh, sharing uh, but I have a couple of questions. The first one is, what is natural acceptance in UHV as you understand and what you felt was natural acceptance in all the other three you mentioned, the persona or Vivekananda Mata or Art of Living. And number yeah. second question is, a, and the second question is about this, uh, you, you classified something as good and bad in Mahabharat or the people, the way they behave. So what is uh, good and bad in, in your reference uh, in the light of UHV, well, let's assume a situation where your young boy has broken your laptop or somebody in your college has broken the laptop. How do you differentiate good and bad in this situation if it is done unintentionally? Thank you. Yeah, uh, first question regarding natural acceptance. When you do the things, when you feel inside, after taking a decision or after saying something, if it doesn't pinches you anymore, that is what is natural acceptance, what I feel. And second about Mahabharata or Ramayana, if you see in the world, there are people who are good, who are bad. Uh, it is again a reference point. It is again a reference point. With that reference only, we are saying, uh, if I see a person, for example, in a family, if somebody has got 40%, we say that he is the mark. But when he, in the next year, when somebody gets 55%, ha, he is very good. And in the third year, if he gets 50%, what we say? You have set the mark. So good and bad, we have created the things. And we say it as a good and bad. Actually, there is nothing called as good and bad. They are the things we have to take it as it is only. Then and then it will be a thing which is naturally accepted, what I feel. And regarding laptop, if he breaks, it has to happen. The things are happening because they have to. We should not react. We should be 
responds you. That is what I feel. If it has broken, it has to break. Because what I feel is that everything has been planned. It is my feeling. And we are just playing a role. Uh, for example, two days back, it has been planned that I should give the exploration of myself. But I wasn't unable due to my child health issue. But it has happened today. So it has to happen. That's why it is happening. Uh, sir, did you get the answer for your questions? Or yeah, do you need it? Any... Yeah, just a small addition. I'm not dragging it. If it, yeah, if it has to happen, if it has to happen, it will happen as Gita or however you want to quote it from. But what is natural acceptance then? Because you are allowing it to happen, right? Thank you. Uh, see, there is a duanda going on. That is what we call as a... Uh, and we should lead to the Advait. Uh, Advait means what? Where that two things are... One, when we accept it, that everything is there, but we have to accept as it is. Because when we are going to make some changes, it may lead to balance or imbalance. So naturally acceptance as per the UHP, what I feel is that uh, 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 the way Vivekananda sir has said, uh, Swami Vivekananda has said that education is manifestation of the self. That means everything is within us. We are just exploring the things. That is what I shared when I had done the course of uh, Vipassana, Art of Living. Uh, and coming back to this UHV, it's like a tub going on morning 5.30 to 7.30. We are realizing the things. They are within us. But just we are going on realizing the things that, ha, huh, this is this. For example, what is trust? What is love? I came to know these definitions over here only. What is a property? Property means what? How you are expressing, how the other person is taking you, how you are affecting by the other people. So a lot of things which I had learned over here in UHV. So natural acceptance means accepting the things as it is as they are we are making some assumptions we are making some uh, drawing some pictures by our prejudice mind it may happen through our uh, it may be given by our parents friends through movies through tv channels or whatever is there so outside to inside a lot of things are going on just we need to realize the thing uh, whether i answered your question sir yeah thank you Huh. Do you have any questions, sir? I can talk, but time is a limitation. But I just wanted to be sure about the way you are interpreting the natural acceptance because just assume for a moment, you are watching a movie that is natural to you and the way it is communicated, you felt something is good enough and you started working on it without feeling if it is a sensation or preconditioning because you liked it, because that is naturally accepted by the hero or heroine or whoever has done it. What it means is you're accepting on the basis of something. So what is the basis is the self which has been told. And how are you living is something which has been told here in UHV is what I feel. Do you find the small difference of understanding and living it? Sir, uh, can you please again uh, pardon the question? Yeah, sure. Education yes. is the manifestation of the self. Very well articulated by Swami Vivekananda. And I, because you are also saying the similar thing or the same thing. But in UHP, they are saying education and sanskar, they go, go both hand in hand, as we body and self go hand in hand. Unless you bring it into living, you are not really understood what is being said. Is that what it is or is there something else? For example, a movie where you felt something is right and you naturally accepted that is good and you behave yourself or conduct yourself in that way because you have a reference of a movie, but you don't really know how the movie is made. In the same way, when Swami Vivekananda or somebody says something, it is just a manifestation of their understanding. It hasn't come to our understanding yet. How would it come to us? Till the time you live it, it would not even come to it. So if you are not living what is understood, do you think it is natural acceptance or preconditioning or sensation? Just because you like it or it, did, it didn't pinch you, something of that sort. Thank you. Sir, uh, again, we are making, means what I feel is that it's just uh, things which are wrapping around our mind. Uh, so it depends on the situation again, he, how I feel, how it it has to be taken by me. Yeah, I get your point, but you, you are definitely trying. I can say that. I don't have any doubts, but thanks for allowing me to talk to you. And thanks, everyone. I'll quite myself. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you.
we can listen to the questions from srinivas mutta ji namaste uh, namaste bhaiya namaste to all my boys namaste sundar devi uh, namaste dinesh ji ha uh, sir namaste question is uh, related to uh, body and uh, self uh, if uh, any time uh, if we face any uh, unhealthy unhealthiness in the body uh, generally uh, there is a tendency to lose our harmony between body and the self uh, Uh, in your yes, case, yes, uh, uh, what sort of uh, uh, mindset do you have? You, are you able to maintain harmony? And uh, one more thing is, uh, how far uh, after EHV, uh, what about your self-regulation self -regulation is concerned? What measures you have taken? Uh, sir, uh, doing the practice is only, means excellence. We will reach to excellence by doing the same thing again and again. So we need to... Uh, as said i i am not committed right now so when i go into the commitment part when i am going for editing because i remember somebody has said that when i go on to the commitment of the videos uh, i am realizing that what are the things that has been taught in that uh, session because when we are telling a story to our child he asks again and again tell me the same story same story we are giving them story 10 times 15 times 20 times he is not getting bored but a some at some point he says that now we'll move to the next story because when we are listening to the things uh, we may be aware whatever we are, whatever is needed at that time is we are taking there are some part which is missing because it is not needed at that time so the it's a uh, unending process what i feel and we have to go through it it's a journey and we have to uh, experience that journey that is what i feel uh, how, do you, how do you maintain your body health uh, by regulating yourself by intake food uh, after uhv do you have any uh, understanding specific Uh, nurturing the body regarding uh, generally when people have temptation whatever food they like most so that part i am going to just i would like to know sir uh, uh, honestly when i do two two three days that i should not take this i should not take that it is a sweet it is a but uh, after three days what happens is that uh, leave away and I, i go by eating it that is what happens with me i am trying to regulate it but i am not still because 2 3 years back i was covid affected so i realized that my body weight should be loose so for 3 4 months i had loosed it to 78 76 but after that again it has raised to 84 so i am not uh, in a position to maintain it okay. yes sir. balance between uh, that regulating the uh, intake to and uh, Uh, understanding the uh, actually uh, what sort of food and nurturing the body and uh, uh, controlling and everything is uh, very important to maintain good health. That point of uh, okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir, definitely, I will try. I, I will do it. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. thank you, Srinivas yes. Gupta ji, for that question. Now, uh, Tara Prasanna ji, over to you for your question. नमस्ते सुनील भैया नमस्ते सुनील जी नमस्ते प्रेज भैया नमस्ते दिनेश जी तो जी आई हैव टू क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव स्टेड यू हैव अंडर गोन स्वामी विवेकानंद कंटेंट एंड आल्सो दिपास एंड नाउ यू एच बी सो आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग so i just uh, want to know from you that uh, can you see any similarity in this or can you see any differences in this there is a question one and uh, second question is now uh, what are you practicing now in uh, are you uh, know, doing something specifically uh, for your you know self development uh, recently and recent time uh, first question sir the regarding the differences or similarities between the vipassana art of living or ramkrishna missions see uh, these are the what i observe is that these are the different parts who are going towards the same thing it depends on you whether you choose this path or that path 
actually when i had done the art of living at that time i told to that teacher that uh, i had done the vipassana also i am doing the ramkrishna math also so she said that means uh, the teacher said that uh, it's like a window shopping you are doing uh, just go by only one way but uh, the thing is that if i am not getting satisfied how i can live because these are the different paths so i had gone through the different paths but uh, these are the different paths but they are leading to the same thing that self actualization self realization then contemplation you have to do the chintan that is what uh, right now i am just uh, due to the uh, physical means i need to lose the weight so i am going for walk in the uh, morning so that is what i am following right now and the practicing is uh, Uh, you can do the practice at any moment it's not like that you have to keep some space reserved for your meditation and everything because i go by bus by to the college uh, so i'm meditating there itself right now and whenever i get the time i sit silently observing my thoughts only that is what i'm practicing right now okay yeah, okay yeah. nice energy and that uh, uh, thank you so much that uh, you know you kept your sharing the set of you know many difficult situation so thank you no no thank you thank you sir yeah thank you therapist ji um now uh, before we go to the question of uh, ganesh tabakhe ji let me welcome shamla didi for uh, her comments and remarks regarding ganesh sharing shamla didi over to you ji namaste dinesh ji namaste didi yes um it was good to hear you because we haven't really heard you before this so it was nice to know about little bit more about you uh you mentioned many things i think from your past um you know your um previous journeys with all the things that you mentioned you know ramakrishna mission and art of living and vipassana and all of those and like you said you know it's very true that all of these can be paths to the same end to get to seeing things the way they are and that is what we are also trying to do here not that uhv is very special or different it is one more way like in many ways so ultimately we need to directly see it for ourselves the question that jagdish ji was trying to ask you you know somebody says something i can i have only two choices right either i believe it or i disbelieve it so specifically what we are asking you to do in this uhv course is not to just believe or disbelieve because this will add to one more belief system in you and we don't want to just believe we want to be able to directly see things and that is where the natural acceptance comes in so how do you decide what you want to you know, whether what you are seeing is real or it is something that is part of your conditioning that is where natural acceptance comes in because when we say natural acceptance it is not about likes or dislikes it is not about what you know i think is right when we say you know what you really want to be the pure part within you when you ask yourself a question you get a very spontaneous answer from within that answer that you are getting see that is giving you the hint of what is natural acceptance so you will find that this natural acceptance is not something unique to you or to somebody else everybody has the same natural acceptance so it is not that i have a different natural acceptance and you have a different natural acceptance the natural acceptance is something that is universal that is um, not based on person time place no it is 
it was there it is there it will be there you know, regardless of where you live regardless of the age regardless of who you are what you do your occupation everything that you put it will be the same for a young child for an older person and so on so when you check through your natural acceptance like that simple question we ask no what is naturally acceptable to you a feeling of relationship or a feeling of opposition so that answer that you spontaneously get is that natural acceptance and it is universal anybody you ask you will get that same answer do you want to keep your body healthy or not so what you really want that is one thing but what you are right now may or may not match isn't it what you really want so like you mentioned you want to keep the body healthy you want to lose the weight isn't it but right now you are not able to so this mismatch is there between what i really want to be and what i am you really want to be healthy but right now you are not in that same you know you are not able to meet that so this what i am is giving uh, this is coming from what we call the mind or the imagination your desires your feelings your thoughts and these may or may not match with the natural acceptance that pure part within you so this becomes your guide to getting all the answers to the right way to go so for this what we are saying is that we observe the imagination particularly the feeling because the thoughts if you go by the thoughts thoughts will be varied from there if you are trying to get the answer for natural acceptance it may be difficult but if you observe your feeling there are only two possibilities either your feeling is in line with your natural acceptance or not in line with your natural acceptance so it becomes very simple to see so like you mentioned good or bad people again what jagdish ji was trying to ask you so good or bad like you mentioned yourself that these are terms that we have brought up but if you look at the existence there is nothing like good or bad so having an acceptance for something could be your own conditioning could be you know the way that we have been brought up what we have read that may be influencing us that acceptance is different from natural acceptance is what i wanted to point out not just for you for everybody and we are asking to refer to the natural acceptance so when you refer to the natural acceptance you will find more and more that everyone is similar to me and there is nobody with nobody who is bad everybody has the right intention everybody wants to be doing the right thing but what they are may not be matching what they want to be at that time that means they are lacking the ability right now their competence is lacking but the intention is pure for everybody so these are some of the things that i think if you go through the workshop one more time or if you spend some time just with the volunteering activities whatever it may be anything small even if it is half an hour a day you are in touch with the content it will um sort of spur your own exploration you know advance it further so that you are in touch with the proposals so i would suggest that and of course the next round of exercise 1 and 2 when we do starting august 31st um you know if you can join in every day and try to do the step wise exploration uh, you may find it very useful ultimately all of these things that you have done they can be an aid to 
getting to see things for yourself even whatever is being said in the uhb workshop if you just take it at you know what you hear if you just see it as what you hear and nothing beyond that then the exploration will not progress so we need to try to directly see within that is the effort and that is what uh, we are all trying to do here we are all trying to explore the same thing so um this would be my suggestion but very honest very sincere sharing by you of course many of the things that you brought up were i think you know your conditioning of whatever you have read previously so just try to do the exercise with a fresh open mind put aside whatever else we may have heard i'm not saying it is not right or right or whatever just with an open view if you can go through exercise 1 and 2 we'll be doing it in some detail i think that will be very useful so all the very best to you best wishes thank you didi for the comments and remarks many things are helping Yeah. Uh, many of us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Comment. Is that okay? Mike is muted. Let us see. You can unmute and yeah. Please. Uh, yeah. Yeah, madam. Uh, when I was in the final year, I was asked the question, "What do you want to be?" So I had given the question, "I want to be a good human being." <laughs> so, right. as you said, what is naturally coming? That is what I. And, uh, it might be a conditioning again about the human being. That's why I'm doing the things. It's there. So, right now, you have to start the conditioning. So, I will be excited about exploding. Yes, Hello, uh, am I clear now? Oh yeah, now it's clear. Uh huh. So, as I told, means uh, I will start fresh without any conditioning. Yes. And thank you all the questions which has been raised. Thank you one and all. If there are any other questions, you can. Yeah, we have uh, any questions. A few more voice callers have raised their hands. We will go to their questions straight away. Um, we have uh, Ganesh Adabathiya ji. Namaste Ganesh ji. Ganesh Adabathiya ji, my case passed to you. You can unmute and speak. Okay. Uh, there may be some network issue with uh, Ganesh ji. We will. Move to Rupalim Didi. Namaste, Rupalim Patil Didi. How are you for the question? Uh, uh, namaste, Maya. Good morning, everyone. Maya, am I audible? Yes, Didi, audible. Yeah, uh, Vinod ji, it was a nice uh, sharing. Uh, I just have uh, one uh, question that um, in your sharing and also in your answer, uh, twice you have used the term that our prejudiced. imagination as far as i understand prejudice it is a, a strong dislike or mistrust of someone or some community uh, where is uh, like our imagination has preconditions uh, like uh, which could be good or like which would be right or wrong uh, so did you mean precondition when you use prejudice uh, yes i mean uh... Preconditioning or prejudice. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. <coughs> okay. Yes. Thank you, Didi. We also have to be there. Yeah. Uh, Srija Mathu, Didi. I must say, Didi, for your question. Out here for the question. Thank you, Bhaiya. Namaste, yes. Sharmila Didi. Namaste, Sunil Bhaiya, and all others. Uh, Didi, I have a question to you, Sharmila Didi. and uh, uh, as we were talking about um, good and bad people as such nobody is good or bad but one thing which i have observed i have a doubt in that um, when i am in a crowd in a new place i don't know anybody but what i feel ki i get connected to many people there though i don't know them and the kind of connection some people i find ki i want to talk to them but to some people i don't like to talk also uh what is this kind of connection what uh, i don't know them but 
uh, my self is getting some feeling, some sensation. What is that? Is it positive and negative vibes? Actually, we don't talk about that in UHV. But something of that kind will be there or what? I wanted to know about that. Yeah. So many yes. things may be involved in something like this. Yes, it thing. could be, you know, I see somebody no? and yes. it reminds me of somebody else. When I'm seeing someone, on the subconscious level, we do many things that we are not aware of. So if I see somebody in front of me and it reminds me of somebody I like, I may feel like I want to go and talk to them. So that becomes a conditioning in me, which okay. I'm going by, you know, without really, I've assumed something about that person. I don't know that person. And going by my assumption, I want to either approach or I want to move away. Right? Yes, yes. That could be one possibility. The other thing what you're mentioning about vibes or vibrations. So if you see everything is energy. So, you know, in the self also, when we say activities of the self. So we have certain thoughts, we have certain feelings. No? Yes. So is it always that the feeling that we have, is it always that we need to express it before the other can see it? No. To find what necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, expression is our way of communication. But, you know, through the body, we are trying to communicate something. But yes, there are many possibilities of direct communication without going through the body. Uh, we may not be aware of them or we may not have the ability to go through that. But I don't want to get into that also. But you can see that, you know, sometimes even at home with your own people, you will find that there are times when you have a certain feeling and you think that you are not expressing it. But the other person seems to get a hint of it. Have you noticed that? Yes, Diti. Yes. So this is what it is. I mean, there's nothing very mystical about it. It okay. is just about... Um, you may be seeing something like that. But ultimately, again, it is conditioning. Isn't it? Wanting yes. to talk to somebody or not wanting to talk to somebody is a conditioning based on your own assumption. Because if you go by the natural acceptance, you will find that you already have, you, you want to be, you know, you already, there is a relationship <coughs> And what is naturally acceptable to you is a feeling of relationship, nothing else. So there you will get the hint that, you know, this is something that is an assumption which is not in line with my natural acceptance. Yeah? So if we start delving deeper within ourselves, we'll be able to notice all these things. Sometimes the way a person talks, sometimes the way a person looks, sometimes the way a person dresses, all this we are, in fact, you know, constantly assessing when we are seeing somebody, looking outward also. But we may not be aware of it. So many of these can play a role in our, you know, depending on whatever we have assumed say about a community, about a certain type of dress, so many things. Like for instance, I may assume that if somebody is wearing dhoti and all, they are illiterate and they don't know anything. That may be one assumption. So based on when I see somebody or if I hear somebody talking loudly, shouting, I may have some other assumption. So all of these are conditionings and we have many, many, many big storehouse of them inside all of us. So we have to try to see what is conditioning and what is naturally acceptable. And if we go by natural acceptance, we'll be on the right track. Yeah. Thank you, Didi.
nice explanation thank you very much ji thank you sujat ji for the question and uh, shamla ji for the response uh, i will just say that thank you everybody for exploring me a lot yeah thank you uh, we also have here with us uh, prashant bhaiya namaste prashant bhaiya जी जी नमस्ते सभी को शर्मिल हदीदी से एक छोटा सा मेरा सवाल हो गया अभी सो दीदी नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस वो यूर डिस्कसिंग सो कैन इट बी बेस्ट अपॉन दैट बी टू ब्लॉक वॉट एर वी आर फाइंडिंग मीन्स एक्सपेक्टेशन मोस्टली सो डिफरेंस वॉट वी आर डिस्कसिंग नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस एंड एक्सेप्टेंस सो कैन इट बी दीट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दी नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस हाँ नेचुरल एक्सेप्टेंस इज वेन यू आर लुकिंग from the level of the pure observer exactly so exactly yes thank you didi in the sense yeah. yeah yeah anything below that could be an assumption isn't it yes yeah that may be influencing your feelings your thoughts your expectations na like yeah. simple thing my assumption or conditioning may be that i am body okay yeah. ji now that is not the truth that is not the reality but that may be part of my conditioning that i am body and because i want happiness that is you know uh, a need of the self i may not realize it but a need of the self is for happiness so i try to get this happiness from wherever i think i can na ji so because of my conditioning i am body i try to get this happiness through the various sense organs of the body ji so i want na uh, tasty food i want to hear good music i want to touch something that i you know like the texture of things like that i use the sense organs to try to get that happiness now the assumption is i am body <coughs> the assumption is that i can be happy when i use things from outside to give me happiness <coughs> ji ji so this is an assumption based on this i will have a certain feeling i will have a certain thought i will have some expectation can you see that जी जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल दैट इज दिस मिस बी टू ब्लॉक डिजायर थॉट एक्सपेक्टेशंस एट द बॉटम या या सो बेसिकली दैट अजम्पशन इज वेरी डीप रूटेड आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू डायरेक्टली सी इट एट दिस टाइम आई थिंक आई नो थिंग्स बिकॉज आई हैव गॉट द इंफॉर्मेशन हम्म हम्म यस यस एग्जैक्टली या ऑफ आई एम वॉकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ द स्वीट शॉप and i start looking at the sweets and then i think okay let me go take a sweet now this is acting up ji see my expectation that this this sweet will give me happiness this has acted up because of my assumption which was deep rooted ji ji didi na so that's how it works the assumptions are conditionings some are more superficial we are able to see some are deeper rooted we may not be able to see right now but as we keep exploring we are able to come up with more and more of whatever conditionings we have from before the sanskars ji 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 means we have to continuously explore ourselves and whatever is in our whatever we have assume it is not correct or it may not be correct we have to Uh, accept it at it as it is, and we have to try to change um, our whatever be the thoughts, isn't it, Didi? More than the thoughts, I would say try to uh, look at the feeling. Feelings, okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Right, higher activity of that. I give you an example. Like if you say, you know, what is naturally acceptable to me to keep the body healthy or to to harm the body. Now, yes, yeah. <laughs> you know this you can get a clear answer when you talk Jee. about the feeling or the purpose you get a clear answer but Jee. if you go by thoughts now you ask what is naturally acceptable to me to eat rice or to eat wheat 
now you can't get an answer ji <laughs> yeah you can write also to nourish the body yeah no? both both yeah you can mm. use wheat also to keep the body healthy so there you will not be able to get clear answers and you'll get confused so at least go up to the level of feeling or look mm. at the purpose ji 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 thank you didi thank thanks for the nice uh, whatever we are getting now i am connecting to english also earlier i was hindi thank you thanks a lot good day bye ji thank you prashant ji bhaiya for the question and the response was helping every one of us so the enriching session of english uh, part of the morning meeting is coming to an end today